Hello. So, how are you? Um, can you tell me if everything is good? The sound and the, the image, of course. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for some people to come, of course. I'm not even sure I can see the chat because I'm trying to do the live session with the phone because the image quality is way better than my MacBook. <laughs> so I'm not even sure I can see the chat. Top chat, chat on direct. Yeah, chat on direct. Cool. So, can you confirm me if everything works great, the sound and the images? Hello, hi Dominic. So, if there is any problem with the sound or the image, just let me know in the comments, it's very important uh, for you to have a good experience with the live chat the live uh, session sorry so have you got uh everybody have you got your pad here because we're gonna do some pads together welcome to my room so um i'd like to do first a kind of warm-up so uh, I don't know if you guys were here the last bad session, but I talked a little about, uh, about the kind of warm-up I use. Uh, and we're gonna do pretty much the same warm-up, but with some variations. So uh, this is the paradiddle warm-up, this one. So the goal is not to go fast. The goal is to warm up the wrists very uh, slowly and efficiently. So what you want to do is play some paradiddles with only the first note over the four accentuated and the three over notes, other, yeah, other notes are very close to the pad because they are meant to be ghost notes. So, yeah. And with one, one hand, when you uh, just did the last gold note before getting ready to play the accent, you have to uh, do the you another know, fishing technique. So if you're here and you're playing your gold note, just after... Oh, okay, it, it cuts. Really so sorry about that. So it's really relaxed and to the top, and then you can play your accent. So let's do it together. I'm gonna put um, a click at 80. So okay, ready? One, two, three and four. So don't be afraid to exaggerate the movement of the fishing technique. You really must feel the wrist getting warm. So each time I warm up, I'm doing this for like one minute or two. Uh, the time it needs to feel my wrist getting really relaxed and a little warm. And I wanted to add some variation to this warm-up. What about playing the same pattern, but 
uh, changing the subdivision. So from um, from eight notes, we're gonna um, switch to sixteenth notes. So sorry. So from this, we're gonna do this, okay? But uh, very structured in the time. So let me just adjust something on the click because I'm annoyed with the changing of tone every four time because we don't really need that. Okay. Here we go. So, what I propose you is that we do uh, three times the paradiddle pattern in eighth notes, like uh, 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 okay, and then two times we do the eighth note patterns. So the result is two, three, one. And why three, two, and stuff like this? Um, if I do four, I only work the same uh, hand, and I want to work my hands equally, both hands. So doing the pattern three times allows it to switch the leading hand. So let's go. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Two. still feel relaxed and exaggerate the movement of the wrists. Okay. Trying to think about some other variation. Yes, we can even do like. Yes, why not? Um, instead of um, playing eighth note and sixteenth note only, we're going to play F note, sixteenth note, and then thirty two note so each time we're playing twice faster so one two three one two uh, uh, uh. Mm, 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 mm. one two one two one two three one two thinking about something else. Three, one, two, one, two, one. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, so this is good. A good exercise uh, if you want to uh, also work the fast subdivisions but in a very short window of time you know so you can do this kind of variation with the subdivision with pre pretty much every uh, pattern you are working with the the pad 
So that was cool. Uh, the other thing I like to do for the warm up is uh, this one. So I work. I want to work the rebound. Okay. So rebound. Very relaxed, and you try to find the balance between the natural rebound and the control of the stick. And you have to be able to. Um, do that over a long amount of time without getting, you know, too tired or not tensed. Uh, the first thing you want to avoid is tension. So, in order to work the rebound, I like to do. Sorry, with the little cuts uh, happening here. So. Once you have the rebound here, you want to uh, join in a kind of way the two rebounds of the hands, and it sounds like eighth notes, uh, sixteenth notes, like okay, because uh, single strokes, sixteenth notes like this are basically eighth notes rebound with each hand, okay, so. My uh, exercise is uh, sound like this. So I want to feel first the rebound feeling, okay, very relaxed. And then I just combine the two rebounds and I play um, sixteenth notes with a single, you know, uh, single strokes. So let's do this together. Uh, it's the same kind of thing we just did, uh, meaning that I want to work uh, the accent. So it will be one, two, three, and then sixteenth notes. Da, 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 to be um, folding on the left hand. And then it's the left hand that is gonna start the exercise uh, from the top. So da, 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 da. Okay, let's do that together. So, um, yes, with a click. Okay, maybe we're gonna start with the Oh, mon Dieu, c'est trop long. Okay, just to get into the exercise, it's 60, um, 60 at the, yeah, well, it's not important, sorry. So, one, two, three, and ready. Okay, maybe I will double it. Okay. Three, four. So it's very slow, and it's just to show you um, the the sound of it. So a little faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, 
So the goal is not you looking at me. The goal is you playing with me. I hope you're all playing with your pad right now. So a little faster. Ready? Yeah, one, two, three, four. So this exercise, you can choose to, you know, accentuate the, the beginning of the little patterns each time or just uh, doing the, all the notes equal, like either uh, high, either low. It's really up to you what you want to work with this exercise. Uh, it's very good exercise to improve the fast of your uh, single strokes uh, 18, 18, ah no 18, 16th notes with single strokes uh, sticking it's a very good exercise to improve that so you can go from a, a slow tempo and then uh, reach your goal tempo the one you're struggling like oh my god I'm so tense and uh, eventually, if you do that every day, like for 10 minutes or so, you will uh, be more relaxed when approaching the goal tempo and even, of course, uh, surpass this tempo and uh, try to reach uh, an upper goal tempo. So, a little faster now. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. One last advice for you if you're struggling to like uh, keeping the time with the 16th note like this uh, part of the exercise you can set in your head a kind of landmark half time like da, 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 here da, da, da. so instead of uh, doing the whole you can do like Halfway, you think your left right, uh, left hand or your right hand is playing on this landmark, and it helps you to get uh, uh, um, sorry, a good uh, word reference. This word was there. Yeah, landmark. <laughs> it helps you to have this landmark uh, on the head and be more on the time. So let's um, try faster. So if we were at uh, 118, now it's 190. So it's on the 8th note. It's not on the 16th note or 4th note. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Okay, 
So you can go really uh, slow or fast with this exercise. So uh, what's about the chat here? Um, bonjour Camille, est-ce normal que le pad est si bas par rapport à toi Car la caisse claire est rarement si bas lorsqu'on joue sur kit et même sur une caisse claire bretonne. C'est pas faux. Um, so, there's a question. Sorry, I'm speaking English because everyone understands. Everyone understands. Um, so, is it normal that the pad is so low uh, with me? Because uh, actually, it's not that low. Like. Uh, My snare uh, is pretty much this, um, if I uh, pretend to be sit and play on the kit, it will be, yeah, it, it's not that low. Uh, the snare is like uh, placed uh, this kind of uh, position, so it's okay. Uh, maybe... Uh, you see it that way because uh, I don't know with the perspective of the camera and stuff, but really uh, it's yeah da, 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 non brûle. So new word today belly button. Yes, <laughs> it's just a little under my belly button. So it's not that low actually and I feel it's the yeah it's the right position for me at least because everyone has um, his favorite position of course. Okay, so now what we can do is um, go straight to the little exercise I prepared. So. Um, Lately, I wanted to work on the pad this kind of uh, pattern that, um, you know, uh, often in the solos or uh, even feels uh, between grooves, uh, you have this, you know, this kind of pattern when it's tada, tada, tada. So uh, I took uh, the littlest pattern of this tagada that is okay. So it's like uh, triplets. Uh, but we are doubling the first note. So but it really feels like a triplet. Okay, so this is my basic pattern. But uh, here I'm always starting with the right hand, so I'm not having the possibility of working my left hand as much as my right hand, and I uh, want to be equilibrated. So Um, what you have to do, you, you can do to work the left hand as much as the right hand is to change one ending of the pattern to uh, be folding on your left hand. So uh, what I did is like right hand for eight, eight times, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then here I double my right stroke. So it's ta-ka-ta-ta, it's right, left, right, right. So basic pattern is right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, okay. Ta-ka-ta-ka, ta-ka-ta-ka, right, left, right, left, right. Trois que choix, trois que c'est pas non plus évident en français. Right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And instead for the last one doing right, left, right, left, I do right, left, right, right. And then I can do the same, exact same thing, starting with my left hand. Seven, eight, and, and at the eight, I double my last stroke with the same hand. So let's do it together. Um, I'll call to click the regular. Okay. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. 
and yeah sorry about that and continue Okay, so that you can basically just take this whole exercise and see at which tempo you are starting to struggle and try, you know, to work it till you are not struggling with this tempo. So um, I, I noticed that when I wanted to work it at very fast tempo, um, the struggling is with the... Uh, Instead of uh, 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 at very high tempo, it's like uh, 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 I'm losing the, the time with the um, with the left hand. So um, you really have to figure out at a slow tempo what is happening. I really have consciousness, consciousness. Yeah, maybe it's that of the you know the time and the rhythm at a very slow tempo. Then it will help with you uh, getting faster tempos. So uh, this is the first whole exercise. Then we can switch to another exercise that is just a variation of this uh, first exercise. Instead of uh, playing always the same hand to I double and I reach the, the other hand. I can just alternate the two, like so. My pattern will each time finish with a double stroke, like right, left, le uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, 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 right,
technique. Um, maybe I use it, but I'm not sure what it is. So uh, if you talk to me about it and you explain, maybe I will go like, yeah, I didn't know it was this kind of technique, but uh, I find myself using it, I don't know, every day, but without having consciousness of, uh, of it. So tough story if when you play piano. Um, I don't play piano, but um, like the fingers, you you mean? Yeah, like using the fingers or cool is forte. Oh, um, do you talk about nuances maybe? Uh, because if it uh, has some things to do with nuances, yes, I. Uh, I use a lot of uh, nuances and I try to uh, to mix the ghost note, the accents, and uh, up you go from down to up, and ah, it disappears every time. Up you go from down to up, and down you go from up to down. Basically, it's nuance. Yes, I think the fishing technique I'm talking about is kind of the same technique. Like you are down, you just play this ghost note, and then you go. Okay, but yeah, I don't, I didn't really know about this, uh, this name of technique. <laughs> so, um, what was talking about? Yeah, this one. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, when we have this one right, uh, there is another variation, uh, another variation we can do. And basically you can be imaginative and uh like find some variations to any pattern that you're working so from this can we vary it another way yes i can maybe for example add just one stroke so it's sound like you know from it's like so it's the same bass, like ta da it's the horse bass, but I just add one stroke and it sounds a little different, but I'm working the same uh, kind of pattern, so it helps me work in this way. So. so we can uh, work this pattern with a new click, like a click following my accent, okay? But we can also play with the previous click, like if I come from this, it's maybe slow. Yeah. So I go from two. Okay, instead of uh, oh, it's, it's too yeah. instead of yeah ah no that that was the, the previous one yes. We can also do this, but it's less funny. And uh, when we follow the previous click, we can uh, play every exercises in a row. And uh, it's funny because uh, the click um, is like another instrument playing with us. So it's like... So that's cool. So it's uh, only a uh, single stroke, so right, left, right, left, right, and then left. Uh, and 
I'm alternating the accents between my left hand and my right hand. So let's do it together, uh, maybe a little slower. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, and they try faster, a little. One, two, three, four. Okay, another one for the very fast. One, two, three, four. So, a completely another uh, different uh, time or time signature. Uh, and the click is like apart from me. No, it's really. Oh, I will sing. I will try to sing it. Okay, I didn't practice that. <laughs> Sorry, but I feel it in my, you know, head and, and stuff. And uh, I really hear it like. Uh, Another rhythm that will come uh, on the top of my... I could maybe dance on it, <laughs> if I know how to dance. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, and and I try to practice it slow so you get really used to where the click is falling with your pattern. So there is this variation and then we can do other variations. We can um, still continue to add strokes. So what uh, does it sound like when I add just another stroke to the... It like... Okay. Okay, I can even add uh, another stroke. And of course I can choose my sticking too. Oh sorry, my phone is gonna um it's gonna uh, it's out of battery so it's gonna oh no. Okay, so I'm sorry guys, I had to remove this because I have to charge my phone so the sound may be different, but we'll do it because otherwise I have to stop the, <laughs> the thing. So, um, you can choose the sticking, of course, I prefer always to choose the sticking that will allow me to always work both hands, so um, for example, uh, with this last one I uh, talked to you about, like I double each stroke to be able to fall on the alternatively on the left and right hand. So if I play each variation in a row, it sounds like this. So I will first play the shorter pattern, then add one stroke, then add two strokes, then add another stroke to the stroke I added. So uh, uh, it sounds like this.
Okay, so that's a very good exercise to, to do with a click and uh, that can make you travel uh, through different exercises in a row. I'm gonna play the whole exercise in a row with a click. Oh. Okay, this click for example. So uh, I start the exercise with you know the shorter pattern, but uh, the one that is uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, 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 and I try to do. Um, I, I try to yeah. I, I will warn you when I change the pattern. Okay, when I add another stroke. So one, two, three, four. Here. Here. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the mistake. So, um, let's do it, try to do it together, maybe uh, with a slower tempo and um, be sure that uh, I, I will post uh, the sheet of this exercise on um, Instagram and Facebook so if you want to work it afterwards you will have it at your disposal so let's do it together slower tempo we said very slower and then we'll try faster one slow version one fast version so yes let's try to do it from the this pattern when I already turn it between the left and the right and the left okay one two three four Again, I will change. I will change. It has some connection uh, problem. Maybe next time I will try with Wi-Fi. <laughs> But yeah, okay, uh, maybe one uh, fast version, okay? Ready? I will practice uh, speaking while playing because I'm not used to it. One, two, three, four. Change. Change. Okay, so that was the whole, the whole exercise. So I, I hope you liked it. Uh, I will um, post the, the sheet that is here <laughs> uh, very soon and, uh, and I hope to see you soon so there is another live uh, session on Twitch uh, at 6 p.m. for those who cannot uh, be there but if you want to <laughs> do it again with me on Twitch it's okay so it's Camille B G L T on Twitch. So uh, thank you for being here with me and I uh, hope to see you soon. How does it work? How can I end the... Da -da 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 -da? Yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll try. So thank you and... Oh, sorry. Um, yes, I forgot, I forgot about the chat. It's by far comfortable for me playing the pattern like... Yeah, cool. Oh, 
Hi, hi guys. Very nice coming. So I'm not able to pronounce your name, but uh, because I don't know how to read it, but thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you soon on the next live, maybe next week or in 10 days or so. So um, have a good ending day and uh, thank you for being here. Cheers.